This is Ray's Grid, a normal Minecraft world with 99% of all blocks removed. Despite its extremeness, everything is still possible. With the goal of this series to obtain every advancement, item, as well as mob. Watch the series from the beginning with a link down below, as well as learn how you can actually join us in this world. Last time on Ray's Grid, we started adding in items, starting with the letter G and going through L, all in hopes to show that we've actually acquired every item possible. We then switched it up and started gathering harder mobs, including getting a creeper for the zoo. I then worked on the advancement of killing every hostile mob by killing a ravager as part of a raid. Now that we have more of these displays, we can start putting some items in that we've acquired throughout our journeys in the world. We can place that some blocks that doesn't take up as many entity slots as item frames do. That's amazing. Slowly helping add to the museum. We also have the slot for the dragon egg, so that is there. And I guess there is a dragon breath slot, so we can fill that one up as well. Everybody is hard at work adding more item slots. Go ahead and put the dragon breath in. That was got during the dragon fight, along with the egg. Oh, we also got a dragon head. We put that in there. Yeah, we got the dragon head that Mr. Chest gave us. He went on an insane grind through the end dimension to actually find one of these. <laughs> Most of the time, they'd be just deleted by the world forever appearing. Let's go ahead and put the dragon head into the appropriate slot over here by the other dragon stuff. Yeah, and he has more of them. <laughs> That's so crazy. We could even power this and make it actually talk. Look at that. Jump, jump, jump. We also got the slot ready for the Lytra, so let's actually go grab that, and we do have Emerald on us to help add to that. Lytra goes right there, one of the more rare items, and Mr. Chess is the one who donated that to the museum. Very nice, got tons more slots to fill up. Also do got some kind of older diamond stuff that I had. We can donate this to the museum as well. We also can throw in the diamond legs, which got an extra one of those. And I do got this old diamond pickaxe. Got from a villager. And we could replace this one with the enchanted version. Looks <laughs> a little bit nicer. Throw in some diorite stuff. So we got the slab. Uh, we also got the stair and the block. So we have some corals that we need to put in. Want to keep them alive. So I think we're going to try waterlogging this back here. And then hopefully we should be able to put it in and it won't die. That's the coral block. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for these. This one and the one beside it. Put in some stairs so we can have water near them. Should be able to put these in. So coral goes there and fan goes there. Awesome. Haven't died yet. Great. We got a rocket here. This is uh, number 404 in our 1,200 some items. A little joke here. Information you are trying to access is not available. 404 air. Very nice. <laughs> Happen to have one of those. Got ourselves a glow berry there along with the glow item frame inside of item frame. Yes, every item needs their place, even something as simple as an egg. They all have a location. They all need to be filled in. Quite a lot of them. We did pick up a fern, so let's put that in there. Flower pot. Looks nice. Now let's do the deep slate stuff next. So I took the deep slate and it was silk touch, so I got cobbled or mined it up. We can make polished out of that. Also, we can smelt it down to make the deep slate if we want to. There's a lot you can do with deep slate, so let's just start from the top. <laughs> we got the chisel type. We can make the different types of slabs or cobble variations. Walls. There's also the bricks. Bricks are actually one of the coolest. I really like uh, deep slate bricks and the quartz bricks. Probably the two favorite blocks of mine. They just look so clean. For the tiles, those are a new variation. Let's add all these to the museum. There's actually another deep slate that we were donated from Mr. Chest, which is a deep slate emerald ore. These things are extremely rare because they have to be found in mountain biomes and emeralds rarely actually make their way down into the deep slate part of the world. Plus, it doesn't help that 99% of our blocks are removed in this world. So let's put this precious ore on display and we'll put it into this lot here. So we've got the deep slate stuff here as well as here. Uh, the other ones is start with the C, so actually in the cobbled variations. While getting a bird's eye view of the spawn, we found this enderman way up in the sky. And let's see if we can drop it down and scoot it over to the museum. There it goes. Hey, it made it down safely. So we got the enderman here. We're going to leave it inside of its boat just so it doesn't teleport about. Uh, it's really holding an item in its hand, so it shouldn't be able to spleef itself. But we'll just encase it so it doesn't get destroyed by the rain when it comes through 
and hopefully he doesn't leave us. Should be safe inside of his little box over here. Another mob added to the museum. Now let's get back to putting items in the museum. In the past, we were also given the snout banner by Mr. Chess. He found these in the nether while doing that mega search for the pig step music disc. So let's see if we can actually find where it goes. Awesome, so we got you put it into the museum. That's really cool. So once we actually have this thing completely built, then it's not too hard to come in and just put the stuff in. Uh, one thing we did notice is that when it comes to the banners, we can actually craft some of these other banners. Let's try to craft these up. To make the one banner, you need a notch apple. And I think the only one that has it is Mr. Chess. And he graciously gave us another enchanted golden apple. And this one will be for the banner, but we'll also need one later on just for the actual enchanted golden apple item to put on display here. So let's go ahead and craft that very rare banner and turn it into banner pattern thing, Mojang banner pattern. Ah, oh, goodbye, enchanted golden apple. That's crazy. Just to get one more item, go ahead and add that one to the list here. Okay, the little Mojang symbol just called thing. Finally got that one added. Let's make a couple more easier ones. Let's see, we need a skull for that one. Creeper skull for that. So we'll need to grab a wither skeleton skull. So let's head out to our farm to see if we can get one. Long time ago, we came over to this fortress to get blazes and the guys actually turned it over into a wither skeleton farm. They put down a bunch of wither roses and they got piglin in the center. That looks amazing. It's just like my design where they all end up down below. Hey, look at that. End up down below. So you can either choose to kill them with like a dog, which is one way, or you can manually kill them. Wow, look at all the loot. It's amazing. We're all getting collected. We got tons of bones. And we got Wither Skeleton Skull. That was awesome. Two of them. Wow. What the heck? I just swung again and I got two more. Dude, this is like super OP. I just got another one. Wait, what are the chances? I feel like I have like some kind of OP sword. I just got like an insane amount of skulls. I feel like I killed five and got five skulls. That is insane. What are those rates? Oh, wow. Okay. We got plenty of skulls now. Let's head back and make that banner. Let's grab Wither Skeleton Skulls. So we just need one skull for this and the rest of them we'll save up so we can do some fun stuff in the future. Uh, let's go ahead and put that with a paper. That will give us the skull charge. Mix the crossbone one. Let's go ahead and place that one in right there. So now we only have one, two, three more banners patterns to come up with. Let's make the flower one next. So we found this plains biome, which is not too far off from spawn. And with it, we can actually get daisies to spawn in with some bone mill. I'm just gonna place down some grass I grabbed and we'll try to bone mill it and see if we actually get the right flower type. Couldn't actually get it from a forest. Yay, we got oxide daisy. But we'll also need a second one just for the flower item. So let's gather that one while we're here. Okay, so we got a second one here. Awesome. Let's take these back to the museum. So now we go ahead and make that other banner, flower charge. Goes right there. Now we got this whole wall completed for the banners. And what we've got left is one we need a charge creeper for, which we don't have, but we can get this one from a villager. So let's do that. So we got a trade with the cartographer. I do sell the different explorer maps. The very bottom, we got the glow banner. Only for eight emeralds, not a bad deal. Go ahead and grab that and throw it into the museum. And that one goes there. So now we just need to wait until we get a charge creeper. We actually need that for also the different mob heads. But we got a few more of the more rarer things out of the way. But if we want to get the final banner pattern, we're going to have to get a charge creeper. So let's get that set up so we're ready for the next lightning storm. So we are underneath of spawn here. This is a good location because we have creepers down here spawning. Plus we also have these holes which go all the way up to the sky. So lightning can actually strike this. So let's see if we can get a creeper inside this boat here. Okay, we got two creepers by themselves, which is perfect. Up these stairs. Oh, we got big slime. Nice, let's go get that second one. Make sure you go take a wide berth around this creeper. 
Hey, so we kind of got set up in case a lightning storm comes. Repaired my trident, I was channeling on it, and we got two creepers here. Hopefully we can get some mob heads. It's really cool to see the item museum slowly filling in, and you can help support the series for free just by remembering to use your Amazon Prime or Twitch Prime to subscribe to me over at Twitch each and every month. These can also be obtained for free by following the tutorial in the description. Thanks to this month's supporters, and I will see you in the next episode of Raise Grid.